Welcome back. All right, this is being described as the greatest show and tell on earth. The inaugural Jacksonville Mini Maker Fair is this Saturday at the Mosh. And here to tell us about the event is Eddie Whistler. And you brought along Annie Murphy from Eco Relics. Yes. Very cool. And she's brought along some of her amazing wood shop uh, creations. Um, but let's talk about this. This is, uh, is going to be a great weekend here in Jacksonville, um, all across downtown. Is all about innovation and creation, right? Yeah, from right here in Jacksonville. So. Um, here at the museum uh, from 10 to 5 uh, you can come in you can have your uh, museum experience which you know with all interact with all of our exhibits but sure. then on top of that we have layered over 50 different makers and what a maker is you know we can get yeah. into but also live performances outside on the stage spoken word and music um, food trucks, so it's not just in the museum, but it's also we're pouring out into... Friendship out, Fountain area. Uh, you know, right by that area. Right by that area. Yeah, like it's still Mosh parking lot that's out back, okay. but we're going to convert all that space to have more makers, a mini, uh, a tiny home as well. Uh, Very cool, yeah. Annie, you're, you're with Eco Relics. If you, don't, uh, if you haven't seen, seen her at Eco Relics, you got to go check her out. I was just there this weekend, because uh, again, I just moved downtown, so I'm loving all of the activity mm. and all the events downtown, and uh, I realize other stuff has happened here before I moved here, but for me, it's all new. Um, but Annie, so why, why are you getting involved in something like this? Well, we're a sponsor. Um, we thought it was the perfect fit for our, us because, you know, we are makers. I have a lot of my guys who do some beautiful woodworking yeah. stuff, and then we provide what everybody needs to make stuff. Sure. So it was like a good fit. It, it just was perfect. And then they allowed us to bring our tiny house too, which is what we want to showcase as well. Yeah, the tiny house is, uh, is pretty amazing. Um, how many of you guys have built now? Just the one. Just the one? Yeah. <laughs> so far, just the one. Are you ho hoping to do, uh, do some others? I think we would like to do some others, yeah. yeah. We need to find a home for this one first. This will be going to the veterans group, so we really need to, to deal with that first, and then we'll, we'll start on another one. All right. And tiny homes being made, I mean, robotics, uh, drones, I mean, you name it. It's makers of all different sorts. And I think engagement is really the name of the game. When people come in, they're going to come up to these booths, and many people... Uh, many of the makers that we have are going to be engaging with. You're going to get your hands on or at least demoing, like yeah. lasers, for example. We have a, we have a do-it-yourself uh, laser maker who uses like an analog synthesizer in order to... So it's just a, a whole breadth of different skill sets that people are bringing over so 50. makers, art, uh, technology, mm -hmm. just people creating things. Could, some could be life hacks type uh, things that, that you need? Absolutely. People with a skill set that have, that they've developed it, they might not be professional, and you know, in <coughs> Eco Relic's case, uh, that's one of our professional booths, but. And, and they're doing, uh, you're doing some demos there, you got the, the tiny house, but you're also doing some, we're what, what kind be, of demos? Yeah, we're gonna be making a, um, a really cool floating Live Edge s shelf. So it'll be anyone's good introduction. If they want to work with Live Edge, this is the perfect opportunity to learn. Well, I got to show you this here. This is uh, stuff you, you know, Eco Relics. These are our fire and ice tables. These are fire and ice tables. And I got my, this, they're basically coffee tables. Uh, we tilted this one up because when you put a black light on this, what, this is epoxy? Yeah. That is absolutely amazing. These things, yeah. your, your guys in the wood shop, I don't know how they decided to take two pieces of wood and, and <laughs> stick them together with epoxy, but. I'm glad they did because this is yeah, cool, this is it? captivating. Um, did you, they make these right in the wood shop mm -hmm. in the uh, at Eco Relics over yeah, there. Yeah, and you can go look at them work. Oh, it's uh, it, it's really cool stuff. So all this stuff's gonna be on display. 50, 50 different makers. Yeah, over fifty different makers. Food out uh, out back. Um, Just live. Really, really cool. Planetarium gonna be running. Planetarium is going to be running special programming that's coming out of there. A lot of times we'll have the makers that are going to be coming in. So this is my world, the planetarium, okay. right? Yeah. Um, and so just special programming, lots of makers, hands-on, engaging. Get inspired. Uh, that's the name of the game. Get inspired, folks. That's this is the idea. Be awesome. Is Very to cool. leave with that kind of a feeling. Good right? to see you, man. You got it. Good to see you, Annie. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. Remember, the inaugural Jacksonville Mini Maker Fair is Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Mosh. And for more information, visit themosh.org.